Over time, I've had a fair number of questions about what are your favorite business applications? What are your favorite tools? And there's just a general interest around anything software. And I also find it interesting to see what other applications other people are using. And so let me show you what I'm doing because there's been questions about it. Maybe you'll discover an app here that you like. And also below the video, submit what your one or two absolute best business applications are that you use or productivity tools because I think that all of us find this really interesting. So I'll just point out a couple. A bunch of these are probably already familiar to you. I use this one here. It's kind of crazy, I guess. It's called Spin Me. I use it every day. It's my alarm clock. I li you literally have to stand up, get out of bed, put two thumbs on your phone, and spin around a circle two or three times before your alarm clock will shut off. And I just don't want to snooze. And I have a tendency to snooze if I uh, work really late and I work a lot. And so this is how I kind of keep that tendency under control. Um, you probably recognize all of these others. I'm I, When I travel, I live off Yelp. I hardly ever book restaurants or anything in advance. I don't go anywhere restaurant-wise that doesn't have four stars and a ton of reviews. And so I really use Yelp a lot. I've really come to like it. I think a great point here is really think about if you use Yelp or if when you do Google searches, you look at the reviews, really think about and observe your behavior. Now imagine your potential client's behavior. How are they looking for you? How are they finding you? A Yelp is something to really think about from a business standpoint. Uh, this just keeps up with my food and such. Supercam, you could actually use this for your office. For me, and there's another app I use as well. This is the video cameras around my house and in uh, around my pool and also in a couple spots in the house. And so these, this is kind of a video camera system I can see from anywhere, but you can use this exact same technology. Mine's got a DVR and it records motion and everything. And you could use this exact same technology around your office. It's not that expensive. I don't know exact cost on it, but it wasn't that, that much. Uh, iAquaLink is just, that controls my pool, the waterfall, the uh, heater, you know, lighting, all that kind of stuff from my device. So Service Autopilot, serve, between Service Autopilot and Trello, and I'm gonna spend a few minutes on Trello in a moment, between these two applications, they manage everything that I do. So for example, Service Autopilot is my calendar and all of my to-dos, and it keeps up with my phone calls and all of that, and all my clients and such. And then Trello is all of my daily schedule outside of scheduled calendar events because that's in service all it's it, think of it as my to-do list think of it as all the projects that i'm working on or we're working on is for as a company that are broken down into actionable steps uh, it's also all kinds of other things i'm going to do a video specific to trello at some point because trello is one of my absolute favorite business applications i use it constantly Anytime somebody says, hey, can you do this? Anytime I have an idea, I click Trello on my phone and I log it. I've really been moving away from sticky notes and loose paper. I log every idea into Trello, everything I promise I'm going to do into Trello. I do a lot of voice memos when I'm driving. You can take your voice memos and then you can send them to rev.com or any transcription service and have them turned into a transcription if you need to. You can also text message them. I also write down a lot of notes. And Genius Scan is something I use all the time. It's basically a way that you can take a picture of a document or documents and then you can fax them. Or you can, better said, instead of faxing them, you can email them. And it turns whatever you take a picture of into a PDF. So it's just like scanning except it produces that document for you and then you can email it. It's free. I use the free version. I use Pandora all the time. Audible, I use Audible like crazy. I have just you know, a ton of audio books. I have tons of books, but more and more, a lot of my books that I'm reading and that I'm going through, I mean, they're, they're predominantly audio books. And so then what I do, and I've been through everything on here. There's probably a couple of these I haven't been through. And there's a whole bunch more that I've, that aren't downloaded on this phone that I've been through. So what I'll do sometimes is I listen to these audio books all the time. I, I kind of find it hard to listen to audio books when I'm working out, if I'm trying to have a high intensity workout. But if it's a low intensity workout, then I'll listen to an audio book, but I, I listen to them when I'm driving. And then if the book's exceptionally good, like for example, right now, Predictable Revenue, I bought the book and now I'm going through the book in addition to having already listened to the audio book. And then I can focus in a little bit more and make sure I take action on some of the good ideas. I also am a big fan of, uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts. 
and just like audiobooks, so I download a bunch of podcasts. You know what music is. And then Gmail is my email for everything. It's our company email. It's my personal email. All of my email accounts run through my one Gmail account. I'm a big fan of Gmail. I, I really like it. And then Trello is the app. Uh, Trello, and like I said, in Service Autopilot are how I manage everything. And we use some more, we use a different product for software development planning and project management that's more advanced than Trello. But for me, I probably have 50 different projects detailed inside of Trello that we are either working on or that I'm thinking through that we will start working on at some point. So I highly recommend Trello, Gmail, uh, I highly recommend Audible for your audiobooks. Of course, I'm fond of Service Autopilot. Those are probably some of the big standouts, and you better be paying attention to your use of Yelp because that's what your customers are doing too. And if you're not paying attention to how you're finding companies and making sure that you become make yourself available exactly the same way when your clients are looking for someone or your potential clients are looking for someone, then you're really missing out on opportunity. Put your uh, favorite apps at the bottom of this video. Like just post what are your top one or two other apps so that everybody can see and maybe get some ideas and use them in their business. Thanks.